Can fasting help you against severe consequences of COVID-19? That's the topic of today's video. My name is Dr. Mikolaj Rasek of Merogenomics. And it's been known for a while that fasting can reduce uh, um, your likelihood of experiencing certain severe uh, health outcomes such as coronary artery disease and uh, also can reduce the metabolic problems associated with diabetes and those are the obviously predisposing factors towards more severe outcomes with COVID-19 and this group of authors wanted to find out could fasting actually help you with COVID-19 and this is a really interesting study because they used Utah residents so that's in the United States and why Utah residents is because 60% of, of Utah residents belong to LDS church and approximately in this particular um, rel religious group approximately one third of them participate or practice fasting and we're talking about um, the people that they studied in this particular study people on average practiced fasting for approximately 40 years give or take 20 years so long long term uh, long term fasting and they compared them against obviously non fasting people and in total they were, they were looking over 200 people and what was interesting and they particularly looked at does it um, reduce your likelihood of hospitalization due to COVID and death due to COVID as well does it reduce your likelihood of catching COVID in the first place and basically when they looked at the records available records uh, of those who were long-term fasting individuals versus not indeed what happened is those who were fasting approximately 11% of them were either hospitalized or died obviously only a minority of them died uh, versus approximately 30% of those who were non-fasting ended up either in a hospital or died and the death toll in the non-fasting in total was 3% and in terms of COVID-19 infection both uh, groups were being infected uh, at the in a similar level so basically this clearly shows that fasting can indeed reduce your likelihood of experiencing severe outcomes of COVID-19 so super interesting study now we're going to talk about molecular biology of how this could happen but uh, first of all uh, we should mention that fasting is not necessarily for everyone so if you are considering considering doing fasting which historically scientific data clearly suggests it can be very beneficial but do check the potential limitations of fasting because not everyone would be eligible from a health point of view to attempt fasting so how does it work so in terms of fasting what happens is it's known to to reduce modulate your inflammation and of course with fasting you use up all of your sugar levels in the blood eventually and then you switch into use of your fats they're called fatty acids and uh, as a consequence you will have more of the fatty acids circulating in your blood and one of them is called linoleic acid and what's interesting and that's one of the predominant ones is that this linoleic acid is known to be able to bind to the spike protein the receptor binding domain of the spike protein and the receptor binding domain is of course necessary for interact with the ACE2 receptor which is found on our cells and that's how virus gains entry to our cells and this linoleic acid has been shown to be able to in fact inhibit this type of interaction with the ACE2 receptor so there is one direct way of how fasting could potentially from a molecular point of view help you with with uh, reducing your likelihood of of experiencing severe outcomes but there are other other potential um, associations as well it's known historically from past studies that fasting increases a protein a specific protein level in your blood as well it's called galactin 3 and galactin 3 is an amazing protein what it can do is it can increase inflammation during infection which is a good thing you want inflammation during infection because it actually reduces the likelihood of the virus to propagate but then it reduces or acts as anti-inflammatory post uh, when the infection is over so that's also really good on top of that this protein can uh, have other positive effects so for example 
besides uh, regulating inflammation, it can also promote the activation of um, certain genes, the products of which, the proteins, regulate an antiviral response. So that's uh, another example. Galactin-3 as well has been shown to be able to bind directly to many different pathogens. Now, it has, been invest has not been investigated whether it can bind to the SARS-CoV-2 virus or not, but there is another e example uh, how it, how it uh, promotes um, being able to find, fight infections. And also, it, uh, Galactin-3 can activate your innate immune system, one of the more important um, aspects of your immune system that is required in fighting infections. So many different potential ways. So there's a second method. And of course, as I already mentioned, together fasting can reduce metabolic disorders that promote development of more comorbidities that also are a problem when it comes to severe COVID-19. So that would be the third uh, third potential way of how fasting could help against severe COVID-19. But once again, before you try fasting, make sure that you you are um, belong in an appropriate group to try. And there's different ways of fasting. There's more severe fasting and, and there's a gentler way of fasting. Um, I practice um, fasting on a daily basis, but where I don't eat for something like 16 hours uh, um, in a day before I start eating my first meal. So that's one way I practice. It's not the hardcore way, uh, such as, for example, not having any food at all uh, once a week or, or even more frequently. So here's another cool method. And the authors even mentioned that uh, perhaps this could be um, a one way to help people fight COVID-19 because they mentioned we there's no way we can continue vaccinating every few months from immunological point of view that we cannot do this. Too bad they did not elaborate on that because that would have been interesting as to why from immunological point of view we cannot do this. So that I could tell you that specifically based on the references they would have to provide, but they didn't elaborate. So that's too bad. But uh, they mentioned, hey, we should consider fasting as a way of protecting our immune system. And I wanted to share that with you. All right. Uh, I'll let you check out other videos in terms of the events we have as well. But uh, before I quit, I want to step outside. If you're wondering why I'm filming in front of a metal shack, it's because I want to show you where I am. And brace yourself. There might be strong winds, so you might not be able to hear me anymore. But we are in front of this beautiful glacier. I've been uh, doing a lot of trips where we're exploring a variety of different glaciers. Sorry if you cannot hear me. And that's okay. If you like these videos, please give us a like. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Please leave a comment. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. <laughs> Bye everyone!